Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. There's that love there. Um, well, you have been very quiet, Alistair. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. <laughs> oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Burn anyway, after burn. I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. <laughs> He's ready to try to get on with it. Um... Hmm. Like after we we just found out about that we have a bounty on us, we need to hear some news before we can decide. But we need to decide what our general plan is for afterwards, don't we? I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? Well, I mean, of course we're doing that. Uh, what do you mean? The treaties, the ones we got from Flemeth. With these, we will be able to ask for assistance. Maybe even raise an army. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weissalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Okay, what do you think we should do, Morgan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Hmm. I do kind of not agree with her in this case, though. Because, honestly, that can kind of backfire too. Basically assassinating him. Hmm. Might be hard to earn some people's trust after that. Why are you leaving it up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Al Eamon is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Fair enough. Uh, then we need to find these people. I can give you directions, if you like. All right. Arl Eamon. He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. Yeah, what about the Dale shelves? If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. And the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. Yeah, Circle of Magi. That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first Enchanter, whoever that is. And what about Loghain? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Right. Uh, I don't need any more directions. Then you have a plan. Well, I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. I recall. Do you see anything interesting? Okay, this is what I got last time.
Oh my pantaloons. Um thanks. <laughs> What it turns out to be is a gift. Focus more on uh, giving gifts at a later time. All right, all right. A few knights have come through here, searching for some holy artifact. None of them stopped to help. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. <laughs> oh, what was I saying something about now? Oh, what this refugee said about the knights coming through. We actually, the body we found in the codex I read. He's referring to. I want to go home. I want to go home. So, you know, just take the little that these refugees have real quick. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll for the what bandits. What happened to us now that the Any king is dead? There'll just be more bandits as soon as you I leave. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be what safe. What happened to the king? At least I got so rid of the current bandits. Is anywhere safe? I hear those bandits are back again. I don't like this place. Why don't the Templars kill them? Where did we have for the Kunari locked in that cage? It won't be able to defend itself from the dark spawn. And you think we hadn't heard? Nari locked in the cage. I heard those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would I be safe. I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would we be safe. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. Many did These since mostly. I almost feel sorry. They're just randomized things to tend to repeat. Bandits won't be able to defend again. itself from the dark Why don't the Templars kill them? I don't like this place. Why did we Sometimes you it? can get a little info though. I hear you drove off those bandits. I brought my family to Lothring because, because, I, thought be because I thought it would be safe. I don't like this place. Why did we come here? I'm scared. When are we going home? I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? Mm, what makes you think that? You don't look chastened, so you're not from the wilds. And you're not a farmer. I'd guess you saw some fighting. Hmm. Sure, let's, let's just say it. Yes, I'm a Greywood. Then you'd best clear out. We're loyal to the king here, and word from the north is the wardens betrayed King Caelan. Tan Loghain has a bounty on any who survived. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this one's that great of a decision to go with. Um, Grey Wardens did no such thing. That's not what the Tan's bounty says. I don't have the steel to try you, but you may want to watch yourself around those who do. I have some questions. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. What's going on here? What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. All right, I'm in charge of the village. You could talk to the elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. You don't have a ruling lord? 
He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. Doesn't sound like a great ruler. Uh, were those bandits always outside the village? Were? You mean they're gone? I'll take that as a thank you. Wow. Um, yes, I drove them off. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's will be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. All right, there we go. We'll be Don't sure let to me see stop him. you. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Mm, do you know about the bandits just outside the village? Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Mm. Can I ask a few questions? I'm just out here to keep an eye out for Darkspawn. Please ask someone in town. No offense. Uh, is anyone in charge here? The ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Oh yeah, we plan on going to him. There'll Got just be more bandits us. as soon as you leave. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be I safe. Oh, bandits are back again. And wail and Why don't the Templars feet? kill them? It's to watch how helplessly they scurry about. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. The hell I want to go home. What will happen to us now that the king is dead? I'm scared. When are we going home? I don't think hiding right there is going to help you from the dark spawn, though. Just saying. Rob. That's also another gift. I don't like this place. Why did we come here? Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask, might you be able to spare some bread? Uh, what happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? Not that. Mm, could lie and say they're dead, but... Then maybe to, they wouldn't want to go get their things back. And, you know, the bodies are there. Well, let's just tell the truth. I met those bandits and drove them off. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. I'm cold. I don't like this. All right, all right. On here. Have you seen my mother? Uh, that depends. Who is your mother? She's really tall, and she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some mean men with swords came, and mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me. But I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. That's not good. Do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbors yesterday, but he didn't come back. Hmm. I don't necessarily want to say this. Yet. Come with me, I'll help you look for your mother. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone, 
I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Go to the Chantry, child. Someone will look after you. Probably best. I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. You're a really nice lady. Kind of like Mother. I should go look for her. Hmm. Hope that goes well. Now, one thing too, um, even if you been talking to the elves here and you go back over there to where the bandits were, you actually won't see them there. They just completely disappear. Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? <laughs> Get rid of the tiny part. I'll consider it. <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Can you beat that offer, sister? You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. Okay, well, what do I get if I help you? We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. Well then. It's time for you to get going, isn't it? You would actually do the bidding of this evil little man! Absolutely, off you go. Fine. May your heartlessness bring you exactly what you deserve. A fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice, I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Ha! <laughs> Serve that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? Yeah, <laughs> kill him. Uh, and a discount. Right, fair enough. But only you. Right. Check him out. This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. Alright, so let's sell some stuff first. Alright, looks like we got everything sold we need to. Uh, and the only thing I really care about buying is these recipes freeze bomb recipe and concentrated death root. Let's go ahead and pick them up. And that's it for now. Not uh, party approval. So, probably means I got, I believe it's her, yeah, as I was saying, she got minor magic. Now, I can't remember how much it increases, I'm pretty sure this one's only a uh, one increase, but you can get it four times based on approval, 25, 50, 75, 100 approval, pretty sure is what the values were. Anything else with them? Oh, friend! Care to take advantage of your discount? Uh, not right now. Another time, then. Do we have enough for the moment? I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. Ah, oh, the Chantry I board. Be soldiers. Yes, let us run for the betterment of mankind as well as a few coppers. <sighs> There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. Where are you from? 
a doomsayer. And I lean spoke unto the masses, my hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Uh, greetings. <laughs> <laughs> that last fucking laugh. Uh, you don't talk much, do you? Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. Uh, what's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. So it's like a vow of silence then? He can't talk normally? Unless it's the chant of light? No. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. Chanter says what? Oh man, uh... Oh, even the first one. Um... With this one, Chanter says, "What? What? Oh, you got him to speak! <laughs> ha! Uh, what hath man's sin wrought? Oh, he cheated. Well, anything of interest on the board? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Yep. Yes, All right, job board." As transcribed on behalf of Sir Bryant, Templar, and Defender of Faith. Know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under pain of death. The Makers burns bandits and their kind. The Templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders plying their trade in the northern wood and roads. Aware the bandits are numerous and of considerable skill. Only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep wood. We pray for the success of any who undertake this mission. Residents of good standing and passing travelers have indicated there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. This humble chanter would, would echo Sir Bryant's caution, lest you wind up another victim of these evil men. The reward for such service is three sovereigns. May the Maker look after his children in our hour of need. Three sovereigns. Let's go ahead and take that. Fifty nine, so that'll get us, you know, at least ten from whatever we get selling. I brought my family to Lothering because There'll I thought there'll just it be more safe. bandits as soon as you leave. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts! Please, you're scaring the children! Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands! Man. There! One of their minions is already amongst us! This woman bears their evil stench! Can't you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Ah, uh, jeez. Is no one going to shut this madman up? Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. I watched the Black Horde descend on my people. Darkness swallowed the marshes whole. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Uh, let's see if we can turn this around. You poor man. What happened to you? My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn. Don't be a fool. Dark spawn can be defeated. No, I have seen them. You cannot run. You cannot fight. 
Standing around and shouting won't save you. There is nothing to do! No hope is left! Cluck like a chicken? Wow. Um, we Ferelden's have fought off far worse in our past. Are you calling me a coward? Intimidate or persuasion? Um, persuasion works more for the rogue side. Use the cunning score. Intimidate is based on your strength. I'm calling you an idiot. Listen to yourself for a moment. I, I have shamed my ancestors, but the blackness will come. <laughs> he was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Oh, come on. Here we go. Another persuasion. There's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. Something. Your and... king is dead. There is no hope. Um. Maybe it was just he was just about to say it before, so it went ahead and went off. I don't know. But at least they're uh, doing something because, like they said, this place is pretty much lost, especially since most of what was here was done left. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Sure, that would be nice. Right, so Chantry. For this guy. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. Do I look like a refugee to you? So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Uh, did you know there were bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, so Brian will appreciate that. So I've heard. Uh, who's in charge of the Chantry? The revered mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Brian heads the Templar stationed here. Uh, any news? Not since Teon Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Make her watch over you. Alright, let's head inside. I hear those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars just kill be them? More bandits as soon as you leave. I brought my family to Lothring because the usual I refugee I talk. I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. We'll talk to them in a second. Are you here to see the Reverend Mother too? Uh, where is she? In her office, arranging for everyone to leave, I suppose. I don't think she's with anyone right now. I came to ask for a blessing. With my family abandoning the farm to flee north, we'll need all the grace the Maker can offer. Well, good luck to you. I need to get underway. If I'm lucky, I'll make it back to the farm hold by nightfall. Okay, good talk. I heard those bandits are back again. Why we don't lucky. the Templars kill them? We are the coin to pay the you drove off those, those bandits. bandits. I Many hope didn't. they don't come back. First flight. Chapter one. I almost feel sorry for the Kunari locked in that cage. It won't be able to defend itself from the dark. Yes, my lady. Who might you be? Hmm. Do we want to come out and say we're Grey Warden? Let's do it. I'm the Grey Warden Tifa. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tern Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. Uh, 
Uh, Grey Wardens did no such thing. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Alright, sounds reasonable. Mm, let's get right to the bandits. About those bandits outside the village. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? <laughs> Why they robbed me? I demand compensation. Uh, nah, since we know there's a reward anyway. One less. I drove them off myself. Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Well, good thing we didn't lie. Persuasion. I could keep an eye out for trouble, for the right pay. I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. Oh yeah, we plan to do that too. Uh, any help you can offer? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Things seem very dire in the village. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need... Could use some information? If the matter is important, certainly. Are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Two or three. How do Templars fight against magic? We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. Are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Where would I find the revered mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. That's about something if else. the matter is important, certainly. Recent news. Other than the darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. What do you mean? Tan Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. What is wrong with Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen ill and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Yeah, we got some of that from that note on the road when we came here. If the matter is important, certainly. Any other news? Only if you're interested in the business of mages. I am, tell me. I have heard word that the Templars who watch over the Circle of Magi's Tower have called for the right of annulment. Hopefully I've heard wrong. Okay, why? What is the right of annulment? If the right of annulment is invoked, the Tower and every living soul within will be destroyed. 
We need the Circle's help. We should go and find out what's happening. To have such Agreed. a call when mages are needed to fight the Darkspawn, something terrible must have happened. I have nothing else to tell you. The only news I care about is the approaching Horde. Alright. And I have nothing else to ask? No. Unless there's something else you need. Uh, Travel safely. Help. And may the Maker watch over you. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and go to this. Your friend Sir Henrik is dead. I have something else. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Is there a reward, perhaps? A reward? Oh, uh, of course. I hope a sovereign is sufficient. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Okay, we know why we can't meet him. So your quest for the ashes brought you here. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Tell me more about this urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Perhaps I could help you. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. No problem. You, miss. What is your name? You seem quite odd to me. You would not be the first to think so. But avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Let's get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. Hmm. Greetings, and welcome to the Chantry. I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would be safe. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. The maker spoke. I don't like this place. Chant of lights. Why does Scattered someone have to hear you drove off those bandits? bandits. Fear and back. ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be forgiven. And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world, let it rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. And then shall the Maker return to us. Everyone's and then shall turn. the Maker return to the Black City in heaven. And then shall the chant of light make it pure. Let all mankind be humbled. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. I think it's looping. The word it's terrible. So many come to Lothering seeking refuge, only to find that we can offer little more than prayer. Does the Maker see our plight? Is he moved by this destruction? I, I apologize. The Maker's plan is too grand for me to fathom, especially at times like this. What are those priests chanting exactly? The chant of light. Surely you know it. Mm. 
I've never heard it sung quite like this. This shows that we have some knowledge of it, so... Perhaps you haven't heard these verses before. The entire chant takes weeks to sing, and is only done straight through at the Grand Cathedral in Val Royo. Here, we can only sing a few verses per week, and finish anew each first day. Tell me more. When the prophet Andraste was burned by the Magisters, the Maker turned away from his creations. We gain his forgiveness by spreading Andraste's teachings. The Maker will return when the chant is sung from the four corners of the world. How do you even know the Maker exists? He created this world. Every sunrise is proof of his existence. Every child born shows he loves us still. Okay, who's in charge? The revered mother presides over the Chantry, and Sir Bryant leads the few Templars guarding us. Okay. Guess that's it. May the Maker watch over you. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Those who seek redemption be I'm delivered. sorry, but I'm not going to be able to do that. Accurate life was a There was very little time. For Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had buck teeth. How will we know? True. What happened to the king is That's so very terrible. valid. Is anywhere safe now? I'm sorry, but I must prepare the Chantry's vestments before we flee. There is very little time. We were time. lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. I'm Many scared. didn't. When are we going home? Ventures of the Black Fox. Got it. Let all repeat the chant of life. Only the word spells the All right, all right. Gift. And when the Maker spoke, the chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. Mother says we have Let to run those who the cry out from the shadows be comfort. We are the what coin for those who seek redemption. So I'm sorry, I cannot talk now. I must feed the holy brazier to ensure the flame never dies. What's the significance? It represents the flames that burned Andraste herself. Do you know the tale? I know all Chantries keep a fire to honor her death. The Prophet was burned in the ancient city of Minrathus, before the ancient mages she had fought. Instead of dying in pain as the mages wanted, she was purified by the fire and taken by the Maker into the heavens to stand forever at his side. We are all sinners. The fire symbolizes our hope that forgiveness is possible. Thus, we all serve by feeding its flames. So if I sin, I should set myself on fire. Um, aren't, the, aren't there easier ways to keep a fire going? Of course. The dwarves have offered us coal and special rocks. Even the Circle of Magi volunteered to provide magical flames. If that isn't irony, I don't know what is. The flame means little without the act of remembering and atoning for our sins. Now I'll be respectful. I think I understand, thank you. Always a pleasure. Who's in charge? The revered mother is in the other room, but Sir Bryant can probably answer your questions. Um. I wish you well. And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world, let it rise at last to the ears of the yeah, maker. Him. Let him hear Here's our cabinet, unwavering though. faith. Got Here's it. that key. Hmm. Four of these. Not bad. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. Please do not and cause a disturbance. Matters are delicate enough with all the new the Now's better than later. Imperial Chantry. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. See if we can get a bypass that. Who are you? I am the revered mother of this chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Mm. What tithe is acceptable? Might I suggest 30 silver? What? I. 
I don't think it really changes anything if you give her besides I think the uh, affection certain characters have for you and that can be changed easily enough anyway so I'll just save my money I have nothing to offer I understand not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the makers favor what can I do for you then I am a Grey Warden. I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Oh, we have heard. What do I care for Loghain's lies? The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else. Can you provide any help to the Grey Wardens at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else. All right. Perhaps I should go. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Alright, I believe that's all we can do in here. Let those who cry out from the shadows. So, come on out. 